A welcome respite. My name is Van der Puchert and this is Finding Frequency. So the day ended off with a quick catch up with Oma and Opa, Grandma and Grandnat in South Africa. Both doing fine and spirits are high. But I must say today felt less, less like a virus quarantine isolation day than some of the other days I've experienced thus far. And maybe also brings up a few questions. How are we doing this right? So, middle today, around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, we decided that we're going to jump in the car, myself, my wife, and the young one, and we would, we would drive out to the outskirts of Warsaw where there's a little country house. And we actually ended up spending three, four hours there in isolation together. In fact, we had a, I have a tent that I brought from South Africa that I actually want to take my son go, to go camping in summertime if all goes to plan. And I thought, let me take the tent worth to see if um, the moths hasn't gotten to it. So we pitched the tent and we had an impromptu mini picnic inside the tent today. And my son was completely taken with this idea and he enjoyed every second. And uh, yeah, for a moment we forgot about all these crazy things happening and maybe maybe in some instances we are overreacting a little bit and i'm not talking about the uh, the fact that we should isolate and uh, socially stay away from each other i think that is completely valid but the narrative the stories that we're telling everything consists out of focus on what's going on in the world at the moment perhaps we need to shift focus say okay cool this is the new reality and then just move forward and uh let those who are taking care of things take care of things. I don't know if I'm actually really making sense. It's just this kind of ups and downs that uh, we're currently going through. And I can't really say that I'm emotionally affected by it. I think other people are feeling it more, especially those who are really feeling it in the pocket. I mean, it was strange driving out of Warsaw today, seeing the roads fundamentally quieter. I wouldn't say everybody's indoors. I mean, I'm sitting on my windowsill at the moment, peering out the window, and there's definitely movement. There are still people out there doing things, taking walks. Cars are moving. It's not like life has completely come to a standstill for us yet. I can't speak for Italy. I think for them it's fundamentally different. In fact, we also didn't see much of uh, law enforcement on the roads today. One or two policemen, nothing hectic. Um, But then also... I don't think we are in an area where people naturally congregate or get together in big groups. Probably when you move closer to the center of city where there's higher density of people, you'll probably see more law enforcement. Then also the stats and the graphs and the data will show what, what we'll have to do next. We're probably going to find out in the next week or two what uh, Poland's going to be doing with this whole idea of lockdown. We have still seen a steady steady increase of people um, being infected. Um, The death rate's also gone up, but not as drastic as Italy, I think. But still, um, it's really hard. And the thing is also, it's hard to keep track of this and what's really true and what's not. As I peer out the window, seeing my neighbor taking her dog out for, I think, the 11th stroll. Yeah, today was a good day. It was also a tiring day. It's also a day to get ready and prepare for another Monday, setting up goals and ideas for what we want to achieve next week because, yeah, we still need to get stuff done. As someone comes jogging past the window here, good job, dude. Get that pace up. So that's me. I hope... uh, Things are going well for you on your side. And perhaps for me at the moment, as I peer out the window, I see light, light snowflakes. Or perhaps a little bit of a light rain coming through. Yeah, Warsaw, you are a strange place. Sun was shining on on Saturday and now remarkably colder, colder today. Always catches people off guard. So, here's to Monday. Thanks for listening.